Hey guys, the Full Guys here, Lava Drac, Montreal, Quebec, and one of my last breaks in Montreal, guys, because I'm going to sort of flip back over to the other side, the dark side, and you know where that is. In front of me today, 2021-22 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey Retail Tin, a Rin Tin Tin. Uh, we can swing it like Errol Flynn, that's an old reference. Stay out of sin bin, etc., etc., ad nauseum. Configuration eight cards per pack, eight packs per tin, uh, 64 cards right there, and then you have the OPG Glossies bonus packs, another three cards, so six, seven cards total. So yeah, man, pretty cool, right? Base set one through two, honey, young gun set two, one through 250, because it's series one. And we should receive two young guns because we have eight uh, standard packs. So, and as we all know, they're one and four. All right, guys, within a box break, expect six to seven inserts, 1.14 of the upper deck canvas, 50% opportunity for young and canvas, uh, one Dazzlers, which happy the orange, 50% opportunity for the debut dates, Hondo P is the same, 67% for the honor rolls, 57 for the electromagnetics, 57% for the upper deck portraits, 40% for the rookie retrospectives, 50% for the debut dates, 11% uh, opportunity for the debut date jersey parallel. So that's like 89% chance not to receive that. And the they with the cup flashbacks are 0.16%. I think the flashback short prints are 0.025%, so those are rare. And by the way, the Upper Deck Portrait short prints would be 1 in 120, so those would be 6.7% for those short prints of the uh, Upper Deck Portraits. And then the Glossy Pack, etc. Uh, rookie Class, yeah man, uh, Cole Caulfield, UPL, Jamie Drysdale, Wade Allison, Spencer Knight, Jer Jeremy Sweeney, Kaelin Addison, and Zingrish. Zegris, uh, Barry Boulet, etc., etc., Hauser, Philip Gustafson. Uh, here is our bonus pack, and look who's on the cover our man, our man. Tanner Janot, I can continue on and on. Logan Thompson, etc., Ross Colton. So those would be the cats we'd be looking for. And let's rip, roar, roll through these eight packs. Uh, let's do it, guys. So we have uh, Jared McCann, had a decent year, Clayton Keller, Backstrom. Krug, and we did in fact hit the Lazinski, uh, Tanner Lazinski Young Gun, so we only have one Young Gun left unless we hit uh, one of the canvas ones. Troy Terry, Giroux, very orange forward pack. Jack. Oh wow, we hit a jersey. Haha, <laughs> that's 11% opportunity to hit a jersey, guys, so we'll see that in a bit. I'll put that aside. Lucky, lucky, plucky me. 11% uh, opportunity, I believe. They're one in 75, guys, so do the math there. Uh, eight packs on those 75. Uh, Lucic, uh, Milan Lucic, Jerry, Lankinen, and we do, in fact, have a superstar on a roll. Uh, pretty nice of Austin Matthews. Nice one to hit. Edmondson, Kuts, uh, Kuznetsov, uh, Pierre Luc Dubois, and Jack Hughes. And Pierre Luc Dubois has stated that he wants to test free agency, which makes a lot of sense. You know, right now he's, I think it was a $5 million cap hit. Six foot three center, man. It's hard to find first and second line center. So I think the Jets want to keep him, obviously, but we'll see. Morgan Riley, uh, there's our checklist, Devin Devon Taves, and our Hundo P would happen to be Ryan O'Reilly. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly, who has pretty gung ho parents if you watch the games. Sean Merson, uh, McAvoy, and Ginsel. So you guys want my take on the Nazem Kadri too many men on the ice thing? Uh, look it up if you haven't seen it. I mean, at the same time, if you actually count men on the ice, Tampa Bay had seven men on the ice when that happened. You don't control your bounces. And in fact, you know, for Tampa Bay to win three cups or potentially win three cups in a row, think about how many calls. And they also, I think, went to the finals in 2015. Think about how many calls that would have to go in your favor and how many bounces or bad bounces you'd have to work through to get there. You don't control your bounces, as Leafs fans know. You basically control your own destiny. You only control what you control. Uh, I actually don't think Cooper really, Cooper wasn't being rational. He was just being emotional. Plus, I think he was just trying to rally his troops and sort of not, as opposed to scapegoat his D for being so porous during that game. Uh, you know what I mean? So here's our second Young Guns, and we actually hit the Kirstead. I think I've hit him before. Uh, Hayes, Brody, and Justin Hall. So I think the newsworthy item of all that wasn't the fact that there were too many men as there were during the uh, that Islanders series where they were the recipient of a lucky call. To me, the newsworthy item was the fact that Cooper was actually sounding like the series was over. And I know that that call was pretty definitive and that particular OT goal, whichever way it would bounce, would be pretty determining for the series for obvious reasons, still think it 2-2 two, two or 3-1. But I was surprised that he was actually bitching about it because... 
you know, it's almost like he was saying the series was over, which is a really weird take. So I thought that was the newsworthy item. This card looks crooked, or maybe I'm crooked. Uh, yeah, man, uh, Jake T. Comper, and we have the Mitch Marner Orange Dazzlers. That is a really beautiful card. I like the oranges. Carter, uh, Jeff Petrie, Miko Koskinen, as well as Noah Hannafin. So I believe we have received our two uh, Young Guns, so that would be it on that front. Like, think about it, guys. Uh, two Young Guns in the box, so that would mean a 4% opportunity to hit the Young Gun you desire, because it would be, uh, pardon me, two on 50. So that makes a lot of sense. 4% opportunity to hit that, so I didn't, so unlucky me. Uh, continuing on, guys, we have Kubelik, and who is this? I think it's just a base, uh, upper deck canvas, and it would happen to be Mika. Absolutely Mika. This is actually one of the nicer ones, man. I really, really love this one. Down on one knee. Big fan of Mika. Uh, Hoaglander and Aho. Last couple of packs here, or last pack here, plus our bonus pack. This one feels stuffed with stuff. Uh, continuing on, guys, we have Zach Wierenski, we have Walker, uh, Ristolainen, we do have uh, one of those um, rookie thingies, Radulov, and our rookie retrospective would happen to be none other than Holglander. Uh, Nurse, Makar, and Vitek Vanacek. Uh, Kudobin, is Kudobin still in the league? Uh, probably not. And so, guys, last pack here, last gasp here. Um, so I didn't think anything of that two men in the ice. I mean, bitching about that to me is just ridiculous because, I, in fact, I don't think he was commenting on that. I think he was just rallying the troops as not to scapegoat his D for being too porous, as I said. So, uh, Bockfist, Theodore, Merzlikens, uh, Bergeron. We do have a debut dates uh, jersey, I believe. And behind the Tyler Toffoli. So who did we happen to receive, man? Uh... Yeah, so this would happen to be none other than Nick Robertson. So we did actually hit a Nick Robertson jersey. That is a beautiful card, guys. Very, very nice. 11% opportunity to hit that. So that's decent for a 10. I have to say pretty decent for a 10. All right, guys. OPG exclusive pack time. So we should receive two, three rookies. Typically, you receive three rookies. Uh, I believe it's an 89% opportunity for a bronze and a 30% opportunity for a gold. I find these look a lot like the cards from 2009-10, which would be John Tavares' rookie uh, year. Um, kind of similar. The Shane Pinto, Shane Pinto uh, glossy rookies. We hit the Alex Newhook, very topical right now, as well as the Cole Caulfield. So there you go. We did uh, hit a Cole Caulfield, which doesn't surprise me much, but I think it's one of the base ones. Uh, really, really nice. The checklist is probably pretty nominal, pretty short, so probably fairly easy to hit him. I usually hit him in my bonus packs, so I always get a piece of him, which is always a good thing. So that's basically it, guys. Nick, a little break here. We did hit our six inserts, our two young guns, hit a jersey card. 89% opportunity to not hit it, so always cool for school when you do hit it. A little nominal uh, Cole Caulfield tossed in the mix as well, which is good for PC. It has no inherent value, but it's a good PC card. Looks a lot like, as I mentioned, looks a lot like the 2009 uh, card in terms of the rookie card, like the John Tavares here OPG. Really cool, man. So that's basically it, guys. Uh, get at me on the stat, double stat, triple stat, if you want my big uh, bin of base cards from various years. Local pickup only, so get at me if you want it. I have to decide who's going to get it on the stat, double stat, triple stat, quadruple stat. Happen to full cards, uh, live and direct from a place called Montreal, Quebec. But what I saw could not believe. No one can be free